Well, hello, friends, oh, friends of truth, friends of privacy, friends of inclusion, enemies of truth and enemies of privacy, you know, friends of crypto, friends of, of blockchain, friends of technology, friends of the future. <laughs> it's me, I Giuliano, aka I Juliano. And I am here on May 29, excitedly sharing with you about Varus. You may have heard about Varus before and you want to know more. Or maybe this is your first time and you're just hearing about it and you're looking again for more. Uh, maybe, maybe you are just coming upon this because you're friends of Komodo platform and friends of Pirate. And maybe you've even heard the influence that Varus has had on Komodo platform and Pirate at a code base level. Now, we won't go into that today because that's not the purpose of this video. The purpose of this video is to share with you a presentation about Varus, not that I have created. No. In fact, <clears throat> I would like to share this presentation with you for those of you who, who like audiovisual format because you could read this presentation yourself. It's available at Vera's Discord. You can check it out. It's just on a, it's a bit created by community really. Um, it's the text from lead dev Mike Tug and graphics uh, from, by Max from various articles. So we're gonna go through it and pay attention. I hope this brings some value to you and we're just going to jump into it, okay? I think this is, yeah, definitely special and mm, relatively or quite unknown at current. And everybody deserves to know about this. Why not, right? What am I sharing? I'm not sharing anything. Escape that. Strike one. I'm presenting this for you full screen. Varus. The Twitter is at Veriscoin. Web is Varus.io and uh, the Discord, Varus.io slash Discord. For those of you who don't know more about Varus, check out their information. Go to the website, it'll lead you everywhere you need to go. And you can find more videos and articles and dive deeper into it. It's incredible. Mike Tout has given a few different recorded talks and Q and A's and uh, so you can find those as well. Now, what is Varus? It is a community project with FAIR protocol launch. So the first slide is about FAIR launch. No ICO, no pre-mine, no developer fees. It was publicly launched on May 21st, 2018. So happy belated birthday just recently. That's right. So no ICO, no pre-mine, no developer fees ringing true to the roots of <clears throat> crypto blockchain Satoshi style. Now, consensus algorithm is provable hash attack resistant using proof of power with a special algorithm created by the developers. And it, it gets nuanced. It's great for CPU mining. It was developed to, to make it favorable to CPU mining for the proof of work. And then there's proof of stake. So the beauty of Varus is you can leverage your CPU to, to mine Varus, and then you can stake that Varus. Do you see what that means? That's quite special. So good for you Varus on this type of work. That's just my opinion though. And none of this is advice in any way, but I wanna share this with you. I'm, I'm very uh, joyful in this moment. Somewhat nervous too, because this is a big deal. Look at this. This is Varus ID, self-sovereign identities and namespaces at the protocol level, not at a layer two type of solution. Decentralized. All right, so let's go through it. You got, for example, <clears throat> a revoke and recover authority. So if you have authority, you can revoke a Varus ID and if you have the authority to recover it, you can recover it when needed. There are easy uh, names as addresses, for example, organization at, and then 
you can have within the organization, you can create Paul.organization at. For example, you might have Janet at. Okay, and these names can have a maximum 64 characters from all character sets to send and receive cryptocurrency attached with optional Z addresses to preserve privacy, meaning 64 characters, that's quite a name space, quite a name. And then name length, and then you can also have all character sets, including spaces and such. So quite interesting. Uh, and you can attach the Z addresses for privacy preservation, more on that to come. With these IDs, you have this ability to sign data. There's free verifiable digital signatures available with your Verus ID to sign data. Example, uh, Verus Coin Foundation signs the Verus desktop wallet binaries. If you haven't checked out the Verus desktop wallet, the beauty is you don't even need to, to get VRSC. You can use VRSC test, Verus testnet in the, the, the GUI, the desktop wallet. It's so easy and simple, and you can play with these capabilities without having to pay anything. It's incredible. It's, it's fun. Get your kids involved. Whoops. And then also with these IDs, you have this opportunity to get attestations. So that means you can get third-party attestations to quickly prove information about yourself, for example, education or medical history. And then this will come into play later with Merkle Mountain ranges and such. Now you have this Verus ID and this, this referral system. So the cost of a Verus ID is default 100 VRSC. With the referral system, you get a 20 VRSC discount if that referral VR, VR blah, 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 blah. sorry friends. So you get a discount, a 20 VRSC discount if the referral Verus ID is used. So you, you have a, a referral and you can use the Verus coin foundation at Verus Space Coin Space Foundation at ID if you don't have any other IDs to refer. All right. And that way you can get a 20 VRSC discount and the Verus Coin Foundation will earn 20 VRSC because you've used them as the referral. So you earn 20 VRSC if your Verus ID is used as referral. Now this is incredible decentralized ID, it's crazy. And then there's a, a minimum of 20 VRSC and a maximum of 100 VRSC, which will go to the miners and stakers depending on the referrals, right? So depending on the referrals and, and how it goes, basically the point here being is that every, everything on the network, all the fees, everything that happens, including in the, the, the DeFi, the PBAS and other, you know, like chain launches and such, currency launches and that sort of thing all goes to miners and stakers no other entity specifically and that that is that's i mean that's the decentralized aspect right there in that sense okay in terms of fees there is no there is no developer fee there's no other fee which goes to some various coin foundation does not get any fees unless it's used as a referral just like everybody else the beauty of this is so fair is fair and, and so inclusive and when we get into things like the proof of power it get the that gives us even a, a and, a, and the, the pbas um unlimited blockchain scaling situation you get such a, a a friendly, environmentally friendly, if you're looking for that kind of angle. So now the identities provide namespace and currency roots. So there's unlimited identities, currencies, and blockchains. How, you might ask? Do a bit more research. Identities provide roots for claims and attestations, signatures, namespaces, unlimited data reference. So these identities provide roots for the claims and attestations, okay, for signatures, namespaces, unlimited data reference. The currencies are launched as tokens, okay, or as their own independent blockchains rooted in and with the same name as an identity. So you need an ID if you want to launch your own token and or blockchain. These blockchains are themselves independent yet Linkable, merge mineable, and that sort of thing. Okay. 
The currencies can be launched as a centralized or as decentralized tokens, fractional currencies, and again, or as blockchains themselves with basically the same capabilities. All PBAS blockchains can set pricing, issue and transact with an unlimited number of identities and currencies. Again, these blockchains are called PBAS blockchains, public blockchains as a service blockchains, and they can set their own pricing. They can issue and transact uh, with an unlimited number of identities and currencies. So the same thing Veris has, the PBAS blockchains has, and that is quite incredible because for a fee, you create a PBAS blockchain and that fee again, going to miners and stakers, there's more nuance to that though. It involves going half and half and it deals with both blockchains. The Anyway, there's, you do more research, you'll find out it's, it's definitely there. Listen to the, the, the talks and the Q and A's, those are good. All right, so there you go. PBAS and Veris interchain protocol. So we got a little flavor of that just in the previous slide. And that's about public blockchains as a service where you can create interoperable interoperable blockchains. They can interoperate with each other, protocol layer, bridging, interoperating, and it's going to get it's going to get even more interoperable as other systems or other ecosystems or networks, we should say, connect. Unprecedented blockchain scalability. So various network scalability, there are Transactions per second, which are known as TPS. So for example, Visa claims up to 65,000 TPS. The source, 1,700 TPS, um, which then we look here, this source is 1,700 TPS, which is Mechka, Roska, Daniela, and then I'm pointing with my finger, friends. Isn't that funny always? Mechka, Roska, uh, Daniela, and Dimitrova, Vesna, and Popovska, Mitrovic. Uh, Mitrovic. Um, I apologize, Alexandra. From 2018, analysis of the possibilities for improvement of blockchain technology. So people have done some research. They saw, okay, Visa, there you go, 1700 TPS. Visa claims up to 65,000. BTC, on the other hand here, is about 7 TPS. Ethereum, about 23 TPS. Veris and single PBAS chains, which are basically a Veris equivalent, independent, from yet interoperable with, these chains have about 100 TPS. Okay, yet interoperating this total network bandwidth will be basically unlimited via these interoperable PBAS chains. And again, if you want more details and, and nuance, listen to the talks, this is quite superficial. But as you can see, it's already, there's a lot of dense material here a lot of density to this material because of how well unique and powerful high quality it is actually so various network scalability we have these interoperable private protected and public systems the pbas blockchains can be privately mined and staked miners stakers and blockchain specific notaries provide provable seamless bridges between private and public networks Privately mined, centrally mined, and staked blockchains can confirm transactions at higher speeds than publicly mined systems. Private networks can carry public currencies, send to and from public networks, and operate internal currencies that convert public currencies on private systems. So basically, there is this separation and conjunction which can occur. That's awesome. And if you've listened to some of those talks, you might have heard about how companies can really leverage this technology to their, to their advantage. Up to 22 blockchains mined on a single hash from a normal PC. That goes back to the CPU mining, okay? And you can merge mine up to 22 blockchains on the same hash. It would be with just one of them or two of them or five of them, 22 of them up to. If you haven't used the test net yet, try that thing. You can, you can have an, a, a real world example on your desktop of what it's like to mine and stake and get started without having to 
do really anything. Now, if you want the VRC, VRSC test coin, ask in the Discord and it shall be sent up to you. All right, to your address that you provide. So up to 22 blockchains can be merge mined. There can be mined on a single hash from a normal PC. Unlimited blockchains in the network with a subset of 22 mined by an individual plus 50% proof of stake retains an economic on-ramp while eliminating runaway energy costs. How about a deep dive into that concept right there? Now, we're gonna move on though. This is not that video. Currencies, tokens, and blockchains. We get into this the DeFi and more. This goes way beyond. I mean, it is the, well, I guess maybe DeFi itself has so much applicability. Okay, launching currencies and blockchains. Currency launches can be Kickstarter-esque, used as payment methods, centrally issued currencies, or auto rebalancing fractional currency baskets. Currencies launched as blockchains can have co-launched bridge converters for fungibility from inception. Again, if you wanna know more about launching chains and bridge currencies and converters, definitely listen to those conversations that are recorded, you can find them. Okay, next. Currency launches can include pre-launch discount, pre-launch carve-outs, and pre-allocations. So there are a lot of functionality just within creating a currency. This is not this is not even creating your own blockchain. This could be just the currency. Okay, you can and so creating a currency will will also have a fee to it. You need an ID for that. So just remember that. But also, uh, there's there's a lot of composability in a certain sense, okay? Failed currency launches can auto refund. So failed currency launches auto refund all pre-launch par pre participation, less launch fees. I'm enjoying these tongue twisters here. Failed launch, failed currency launches. So if, the, if you do it like a Kickstarter-esque currency launch, a failed currency launch can auto refund all the pre-launch participation participation minus whatever launch fees were included there. Veris DeFi, fractional currencies, automated liquidity pools. So this DeFi stands for a decentralized finance. With Veris, you can create these fractional currencies or even if you don't create them, you can interact with them. And they're quite interesting and special. So do some more research on that for yourself. You've got this currency and it can be backed 50-50, for example. Now this, part of the reason why VRSC is within this currency and on other blockchains, you would have to have the native currency of that blockchain because it deals with fee conversions and other technicals like that, technicalities, okay? Here's some math for all you friends of math lovers of math, and all you enemies of math. Oh, here you go. So I'll just read you this math, okay? You've got supply out equals supply multiplied by the reserve in divided by the reserve plus one, that chunk to the exponent of the ratio within that reserve. For example, if it's a one-to-one -one ratio or, you know, it's like 0.5, that sort of thing. So all of that minus one. So the supply minus that equation, okay? Or sorry, the supply multiplied by that equation. You see that? Those of you who can look at this and understand that right away, yeah, shout outs to you. Okay, we have reserve out equals reserve multiplied by one minus, and in brackets, the supply in divided by the supply, closing the brackets, to the exponent of one over the ratio. Remembering again, the ratio is that ratio within the fractional currency basket. Then the final equation here is price in reserve equals reserve divided by supply times ratio. 
So the reserve over the supply times the ratio. That will give you the price in reserve. Interesting. So here we have that again with a few graphs. And we'll move on. Maybe you're watching this at 1.5x or 1.75x speed. I don't know for me, this is definitely going longer than I expected, but I'm hoping you're getting some value out of this. And shout outs to the Varus community for doing all the work that you're doing to make this happen. All right, we've got minor extracted value, MEV, and we have front running resistance to both of those, okay? Have you heard of MEV and front running? This is a problem in current DeFi landscape, which is now being solved here through Varus. We have resistance to the front running, resistance to the minor extracted value. How? It's because Varus simultaneously solves N conversions. It'll solve whatever number of conversions simultaneously. Ethereum, for example, the transactions are executed serially in order and controlled by miners. That's what you might have heard about. The higher gas fees paid, the higher priority to get processed. And that is involved with the Ethereum VM, the ETH VM there. If there is, for example, the transactions are solved simultaneously. <laughs> so funny today how, how many tongue twisties we've got. The transactions are solved simultaneously in one block. All right. So this. With Varus, the transactions are solved simultaneously in one block. That's different and it makes a huge difference in the sense of resisting these problems of EV and front running. So the transactions waiting in the mempool, once processed, all get the same price. So a VRSC block looks all combined, whereas the ETHVM looks like this maze of basically single file, one at a time, linear. Okay. Next, privacy. This is for you, friends of privacy and en enemies of privacy, and all of you ID, DID, decentralized ID cats, and all of you hikers, yole, you've got Merkle mountain ranges. Okay, and those of you familiar with ZK Snarks, shout outs to the Zcash peeps and all the ZK Snark mathematicians. And of course, to the Merkle mountain range hikers, we've got the ZK snarks in transactions, provide private yet provable and auditable transactions. Okay, again, nuance, you got a deep dive, deep dive here. Any questions you have, definitely you can ask them in Discord. Encrypted ZK snark memos plus MMR proofs, the Merkle mountain range proofs, enable confidential, verifiable and transparent polls and elections. Yeah, did you hear that? Trans conf confidential, verifiable, transparent polls and elections. Beauty. Next, we've got MMR proofs and attestations provide easy attestations with selectively private attestation disclosure. Example, prove COVID status without disclosing name or address age without name, etc. So you can pr prove something, some medical status or whatever you want. It can be in any arena, any field, whatever it is. And these, this is through the Merkle Mountain Range proofs. They allow you to disclose something like a name without disclosing an address, for example, or an address without disclosing some other information. Does that make sense? Cool. And that's it for now. Join the conversation at Discord, varus.io slash Discord. And if you're still here for this presentation, thank you so much for listening and being a part of it. I hope it's brought some value to you. I hope you've learned something or maybe solidified some understanding or just been entertained. Here we have now a Varus t-shirt. If you have any feedback about the t-shirt selection or you have any requests or anything, definitely put that into the comments. And again, thanks for liking the video. So like that video, 
share it, share it with friends of Alex Becker and all the other empty house, woke, handsome, billionaire, trillionaires. Share it with Bill Gates. Maybe he doesn't know what's happening with some of his former colleagues. Yeah. I don't know who else you want to share it with, but share it with them. Share it with your mom and your dad and your son and your daughter. Maybe bring your cat onto your lap and watch with your cat again. Whatever it is that brings you some sort of fancy feeling, do that. All right. For me, though, that's it. Thanks. Varus, check it out. Try out the test net. Have fun with it. It's pretty good. That's it for me. Love, peace, happiness. Until next time. Goodbye.